everyone. Hi, I'm Angelica Simmons, the branch head here at Coliseum, and I'm going to be coming to you today with a story time. Are you excited? I'm excited. So let's get started. Today we will be reading Fancy Nancy, Our Thanksgiving Banquet, based on the creation of Jane O'Connor and Robin Priest Glasser. Ooh la la! Grandma and Grandpa are hosting Thanksgiving dinner this year. After driving for hours, we finally reached our destination. That's fancy for the place we want to be. Grandpa opens the door and gives me a giant bear hug. Bonjour, we both say. My grandfather and I love to speak French to each other. What a celebration this will be. There is a gigantic turkey, grandma's secret stuffing, green beans, and authentic cranberry sauce that didn't come out of a can. And desserts, there are almost too many to count. This is not just a Thanksgiving dinner. This is way fancier. This is a Thanksgiving banquet. When it's time to eat, I head for the big table. My mom tells me to go sit at the kids' table again. But I'm so much more mature than Jojo and my cousins. I say, mature is a fancy word for grown-up. I know, but there aren't enough chairs at our table, mom says. I take my place at the kids' table. There are paper plates, paper napkins, and a paper tablecloth. The glasses are plastic. It's not nearly as fancy as the big table, but the food is simply delicious. I am careful to eat my, with my pinky up, and after each bite, I dab my lips with my napkin. That means I wipe my mouth very gently. Jojo is not using her party manners. She puts her napkin on her head and makes silly faces. My cousin Arthur laughs so hard he spits out some cranberry juice. My uncle has to intervene, which means he makes everyone stop acting so immature. Would it be all right to switch seats with you? He asks me. May we, may we, yes, yes, I tell him, of course. Grandma hands me a fresh napkin with pretty, with a pretty holder around it. You can wear it like a bracelet. Tre chic. You say it like this. Tre chic. It means very fancy. And the gravy is passed around in a special little boat. This is more like it. I am ready for a second helping. I ask politely for the gravy boat. Oh no, I spill a little by accident. My grandma says, I just spilled some cranberry sauce. Don't feel bad. That's what the tablecloth is for. What a charming hostess my grandma is. I finished eating way before anybody else. Have you noticed how long it takes grown-ups to eat and how they talk they only talk about stuff in the news? I can spell long words, I tell my aunt, like dazzle, D-A-Z-Z-L-E. That's wonderful, my aunt says, but I can tell she is not really interested in spelling. Oh Jojo and my cousins are already starting on dessert. My sister is having an apple pie la mode. That's French and fancy for with ice cream. And Jojo waves to me and takes another bite of pie. Yummy, she says. Now everyone at the kids table is coloring with the new crayons and pads of paper grandma bought for us. Not to brag, but I'm very talent I'm a very talented artist. May I be excused? I asked mom. I point to the kids' table. 
I'm going to help them draw stuff. First, I get a plate and sample the desserts. Then I show everyone how to make butterflies. It's easy. Just make a big B together with another big B that's backwards. Because it's Thanksgiving, I also teach them something I learned in school. You trace your hand and voila, soon you have a turkey. When we are done, we bring our turkeys over to the adult table. How to make a paper turkey. Number one, trace your hand. Number two, add feathers. Number three, add eyes and a beak. And number four, then fancy up, voila, a turkey. They are wonderful, Grandpa and Grandma tell us. They put the turkeys in the middle of the table like a centerpiece. Then Grandpa stands up and says, how grateful. That's fancy for being happy and thankful. He is to have the whole family together. Me too. I'm so thankful for Thanksgiving.